we pick only the best Amazon products you never knew you needed on But Wait. There's more. And if you're watching on the YouTubes, be sure to join us live one night on twitch.tv, me, Ma, the Geeky Granny, and be part of the show. Be up there. Don't you want to be up there? You know you do. All right, tonight we got a little D&D &D action for you. That's right, in honor of my new character, who is currently nameless, we have... We have How about new? I better start working out, because I'm going to start at level nine. So I need to get in shape. I need to get ripped. <laughs> ripped is right, right? I want to be ripped. Mr. Miyagi! <laughs> Cat stripper pull for your meditation sessions. <laughs> you know, if you got rid of the nose pick, you'd save some time. Just saying. Good try, Jade. Good try. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, not sure what kind of monk Imp's been hanging out with. <laughs> yeah, Talmar. I'm wondering about that. She might make some extra gold for the party with the poll idea. <laughs> and you can hide your shame. No, she has she has to meditate naked to be one with the universe. You know? But wait. There's more. Oh, and speaking of dice. Oh, I forgot the link. If anybody wants the <laughs> the power Cat shower curtain, let me know. <laughs> but check these dice out. Huh? Huh? Pink flower dice. I am loving them. I am loving them. How about new? Do you perhaps meditate through dance? <gasps> oh, imp. Oh. I'm going to meditate on that. Meditate through dance. <laughs> Roll for allergies. <laughs> Naked moonlight stripper pole meditation dancing. Yeah, I'm sure Croy won't mind. You can run 200 feet straight up a wall or cliffside in one turn without falling down. I know. I know. I read it. I know. Aren't those sexy dice? Pretty flowers. I dig them. And they come in different colors, too. Blue and yellow. And purple and jade, but pink are the prettiest. Yep, pink are prettiest. I'm digging them. We bought some dice back when we first started the D and D thing, but I can't use them because if I use real dice, then I have to math, and I cannot math on stream. But those are pretty. I would just put them on my desk. Yeah, the metal dice. I, they're so cool. I can't find them. I cleaned and I put them somewhere in here. Did I give you the link to them? Yes, I did. Okay. But wait. There's more. Now you might be thinking, 
but me, Ma. Those dice are kind of small. How can you read those without your glasses on? Well, we could get these! <laughs> Giant jumbo, <laughs> big, <laughs> inflatable dice. All about the size again. Exactly. I want to know. I want to know what these, what game these ladies are playing. That they need the inflatable dice. <laughs> But then you still need to math. We'll need a giant calculator. Those are your fellow dancing monks. <laughs> oh, they're meditating. That That's it. They're meditating. I knew it. I knew it. Playing craps in the pool just became reality. <laughs> Dragon Knight. I guess I should make you the large dice. Looks more like medicating. <laughs> um, um. When you want to play craps, but still be social dis socially distant. <laughs> Money booze after party for bank robbery involved. Not so poofy ones! <laughs> yeah, so I'm wondering about that. There's your... There's your crap par pool party. <laughs> your crappy pool party. Oh. Perfect gift idea. Bud, wait. There's more. But you're thinking, Mima. I just don't think those were big enough. <laughs> and you know what? You'd be right. But this should do it. <laughs> Pale, I hear that a lot. <laughs> Chat like some big. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what you do inside those dice. This, but wait, this more is dicey already. <laughs> hey, kid! Roll to see if your parents keep you. <laughs> Papa Bill! Don't, don't pee in the dice. Don't pee in the dice. I like big dice and I will not lie. <laughs> Why am I? Oh, th there we go. Jeez. Got to sit up in the chair, Mima. You're the moon boss candy night. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Okay, just give me a second. Here, I'm on my own. Okay. Now you're thinking, Mima, those are only six sided die. How are you going to roll for initiative? Huh? Huh? How? Bam! With the inflatable D20 extra large jumbo blow up dice. Huh? <laughs> huh? And I bet you could put treats in there. You could put people treats in there. So you could roll for initiative and, and it'll spit out a little piggy in a blanket. <laughs> Eighteen by eighteen, so it's street legal. <laughs> Reach in the magic hole for your surprise. 
<laughs> it comes in black, too. I like the red one, though. Aether, you have a big leather D20? It's like six inches around. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Diverse dice. <laughs> That's about average, Aether. <laughs> no, no, no. I just got that tell more. Drink them if you got them. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, fail, fail. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Oh, why don't you like PPT? <laughs> Big black type. <laughs> you take such an innocent product and twist it <laughs> to your own devices. Roll them bones. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Okay, and this is for your favorite D and D lover. It's the mimic gamer pouch. That's where you shove your die. You just. Stick him right in his mouth. <laughs> Twist him, shake him in your hand, rub him around. <laughs> oh, and it's on sale. <laughs> How about new? They're too cute. They're too cute. Shove your D's in its mouth. <laughs> it's so cute. Comes with a carab carabiner style hook to carry on the go. How does it seal up? Elastic loop and button closure to keep the mimic secure. Ah, zippered. Ah, zippered inner compartment to hold valuables. Aha, aha. I ain't putting my natural 20s anywhere near that lock. <laughs> you guy. Surprise, surprise tongue in the inner compartment to attack greedy adventurers trying to steal your treasure. <laughs> surprise tongue. Surprise! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Papa Bill! Papa Bill! <laughs> Doc Savage, you had me at surprise tongue. <laughs> hey there! Amp! Amp! Papa Bill in your compartment. <laughs> Sai, you're right. You're right, Sai. <laughs> I, I think it'll fit right in. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And. So I can practice my monking, since I have never monked before. We actually had one of these. 
when I was a kid. Bam! The Bozo the Clown bop bag. So I can hi ha 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 ha. <laughs> what you heard just sitting there rolling your D20 in your fingers. And all of a sudden you get a little surprise time. <laughs> Doc, Doc, you remember those? Yeah, we had one. We had one. <laughs> Just be careful hitting it. He bounces back. Yeah. Oh. Yep, so I can I can practice. Ha yeah. <laughs> yes, we got we got they're on sale as they were deflated. Threw me on my rear a couple times. Sail up. Bozo is the stuff of nightmares. And when Mima comes into stream with a bandaged nose, we know why. No, monks are graceful. I, I just take a biscuit and go, <gasps> and throw it out at him. Uh, She'll so throw a biscuit at it, and it'll bounce back and hit her in the face. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And for more monking practice, I found this little ditty. The Punching Nun! Be good or else! Nasty Nun packs a powerful punch if you offend against her teachings. Fight sin and deviance instantly! <laughs> Simply press the levers inside her habit to deliver the powerful left or right hook. Large, <laughs> large, and ferocious, Nunzilla measures 13 inches tall. I do, Barry. I remember the Flying Nun. I like that show. I think she had some bad habits. Oh, what is the pig monk's favorite attack? The pork chop. Yeah. Oh, I wish they had a video for this. The game that teaches kids to shove their hands up a nut's habit. <laughs> Gone are the days of the golden ruler. Now she uses her motherly superior fists. <laughs> the punching nun. But wait, there's more. Okay, and because my monk is so good at meditation, she can sleep on this and she would never even feel it. The cactus bread spread and pillows. Huh? Huh? I like that floor. Is there any wax for Mima's monkey shines? <laughs> Paws of flur Paws of furry. I can't even say it. <laughs> How about new? <laughs> this is one way to get poked in bed. 
<laughs> First rule of nun club, you don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, let's zoom in, shall we? Ah. Put a little prick in your sheets. You get it? Ha! I can make jokes too. <laughs> Why are you feeling a little thorny at bedtime? <laughs> I am just a little one. Oh, oh, oh look. It's time. It's time. It's time for the battle. It's battle time. Battle time. Papa Bill. <laughs> I'm going to take those keys off your keyboard. <laughs> I'm taking your cue away. <laughs> Saved by the battle. All right, here we go. They didn't give us many enemies on this battle. And it's a three. A three sculler. Unless they're just tougher. I don't think so, though. <laughs> Aether, I'm not reading that, Aether. <laughs> Victory is ours. Uh, if you want, if you just joined and you want to play. Stream Raiders with us. Go to StreamCaptain.com. It's a free game. And we have a lot of fun with it. Okay. Bomber. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Mm, I'm thinking... Barry! Fredicus! Fredicus hacked into imps! <laughs> <laughs> GG <laughs> Okay, man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. All right, we're doing great on the pustules. Oh, see, these are easy peasy. Easy peasy. I'm going to go berserker on them. Yeah, come on. Bring it. Bring it! Oh, yeah. That's right. Squeeze those pustules. Make them pop. Oh. Bring the... F <laughs> Bring the... F furry... They look, they look bigger from overhead, don't they? I think they do. Drink them if you got them. Ah. Okay. <laughs> this is not comfy looking. Bold purchase. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Okay, this next one. Hold on, let me let me get this next one. Is brought to you by Sai. <laughs> Don't blame me for this next one. This is courtesy of Sai. <laughs> he said, hey, Mima. Look up Baculum. So I did. <laughs> it says, Raccoon Baculum Bone. Texas Toothpick. Used for good luck and natural enhancement. Made in the USA. Authentic, sterilized, 
raccoon penile bone. <laughs> How about new? <laughs> From large American raccoons. These penile bones are roughly five inch, five inches in length. <laughs> but the raccoon is friends to the cat. I thought the market for these had petered out. <laughs> so why is that lady wearing one over her boobs? <laughs> How could you guys even see those pictures? They're too tiny. <laughs> oh. Maybe it's like a like a fertility totem. She wears that out, you know, to a bar and sees. <laughs> yeah, that's him. It'd be a conversation piece. Pal, you must be hit. He's <laughs> big to ride the ride. <laughs> because it seemed the breath's place for it. Oh, Doc Savage! Stir your drinks with it! Ah! Delmar! I'm not saying that! That's one of the smaller ones. They have them from seals and whales, too. Hey, I, I, I couldn't lay a whale one on them, Cy. I had, I had to ease them in slowly. <laughs> the heritage guarantee all of our products come with the no questions asked <laughs> no questions asked 100% satisfaction guarantee if you have any issues at all with this raccoon bone our customer service team will be quick to help. <laughs> they will lend you a hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Powdered raccoon bones. Wait a second. Wait a second. We have to keep reading. <laughs> Texas toothpick is a prevalent gift and a source of male enhancement in the southern United States. Young suitors. Wait. Wait, young suitors will give a potential oh, mate. Oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> One of these raccoon penile bones attached to a red ribbon as a sign of their love in some parts of the South. <laughs> Papa good. Bill! <laughs> Papa Bill, when you were courting me, how come I did not... How come I did not get one of these? Where's my red ribbon? <laughs> Patch kid against the underwire and your bra fails. Ha <laughs> ha, grumpy. <laughs> oh, Dale. So, <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> oh, love enhancement. Others claim these raccoon penile bones provide natural male enhancement and will help with love life. Given the outsized nature of these bones, <laughs> compared, to, compared to the size of most raccoons, it's not hard to imagine. <laughs> A raccoon have a certain prowess with their female counterparts. <laughs> oh, grumpy.
Grumpy. I missed you guys too. <laughs> I do know now. How does the enhancement work? You just tape it on or <laughs> Dale, who's out there judging raccoon size? <laughs> How do you explain the female raccoon group trailing behind you? <laughs> Your dumpster or mine? <laughs> <laughs> Can 81 five star ratings be wrong? Hey, that's right. That's right. <laughs> troll! Troll! Okay, there's more. Powdered raccoon bones. Many. Not the others. Remember, the others claim natural male enhancement. This is many. Many grind up these raccoon bones and include them in drinks or smoothies so they're more palatable. These bones come fully sterilized and are thus appropriate for use to use for fun. Oh wait, I gotta read this sentence correctly. And are thus appropriate to use for fun <laughs> in potions, powders, and the like. You know, as you do. <laughs> you can pour yourself a stiff one. Ah, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> Constantine one. <laughs> I met her and I'm wearing a squirrel bone. We immediately don't like each other. I got something in my hair. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Mind you, the competition is pretty stiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's savage! Pina Coonlada! <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, sigh, this was a good find. This was a good find. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh, my goodness. And remember, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Oh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, oh, and you can find more, <laughs> more bones. Oh, man. All right, all right. Let me go back over here. Whew. <laughs> There's nothing that can beat that. I don't, I don't know why I didn't end with that. Oh, okay. And this is because, because she likes cooking. My monk likes cooking, and she's going to know the five per exploding heart technique. Huh? Huh? A little heart cookie. And her cooking will kill you. <laughs> her cooking will stop your heart. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Gotta breathe. Gotta breathe. Look how cute. Shouldn't it be a flat line then? <laughs> I could just roll out the middle. I could erase it. Or. Or. I could fill it with jelly. Yeah. 
Oh, strawberry jam coming out, oozing out of the heart. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Over an hour and a half, Mima. Just saying. That's why you never have time to play. I know. I can't help it. Oh. We just have too much fun. We got we to gotta stop having fun so I can play games. <laughs> I never get to play any more games. <laughs> no more fun. But wait, there's two more. There's only two more. <laughs> You're baking cast up my heart. Oh, there was a reason you only did. But wait, there's more every other day. I know, I know. I can't help it, though. Sometimes, you know, because a, a, a theme will come to me and I'll go, oh, we got to do it because today's National Condom Day. You can't pass something like that up, right? <laughs> and today we were talking about the monk. So, you know, I had to, it just, it just, it just falls in my lap sometimes. Like, size. Bam! She could dual wield these, right? Ha! Flapjack. <laughs> National Condom Day was covered from the beginning. <laughs> the condoms just fall in your lap. <laughs> Papa Bill! <laughs> oh. oh, sometimes you just know what you were meant to do, Mima. Oh, tree kitty. Sometimes. It just, it just happens. <laughs> I'm not reading that, Papa Bill. I'm not reading that. So, yes. Maybe this could be her weapons. <laughs> and she could have flapjacks of fury. <laughs> <I'd be grumpy. laughs> if National Condom Day was the topic, those do not look like clamps. This is how she avoids touching anyone. <laughs> Cooking tongues of death. Attack of the tongues. <laughs> oh. Heat resistant. <gasps> death spatulas. <laughs> One tongue foo. Meat mallets of marbling. They're heat resistant. She can catch fireballs. <laughs> now face masks out in public is one thing, but I draw the line on wearing a condom while shopping. <laughs> Practice safe social distancing. Hi ya. <laughs> But actually, these really look nice for <laughs> actually cooking with. Because you can grip your French toast. Right? Get a grip on it so it doesn't fall on the floor. <laughs> they protect you from getting screwed by the vendors. <laughs> Kung Fu grip. <laughs> <laughs> Grippy slappers. Hey. Grip your bagel, baby.
<laughs> oh, wait. I withdraw my clamp comment. It does the thing. <laughs> it has amazing blocking. <laughs> I know, right, Barry? I want French toast now. <laughs> does it work on your donut, too? I don't know. Oh, there's the lock. Lock and release. Want to play a little lock and release? <laughs> Those do look nice, though. But wait! Last one. Now, I was thinking, my monk can't wear armor, so what would a sexy tabaxi monk wear when she's out adventuring? So I, I gave it a little, a little search and came up with this. The sexy nun costume. <laughs> Chicken slippers. <laughs> they so holy you want to go <laughs> want to be bad to get the ruler. Tablecloth toga. Huh? Huh? Makes you want to kick the habit? Huh? The kit includes headdress and bib. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering about the bib. Bail. Just, just let it lie there. Just let it lie there. <laughs> and she's in her 60s. <laughs> non Amazon size table. So if you live in South America along the Amazon River, you're SOL. <laughs> Thank you, Ma's been in lockdown too long now. <laughs> I think so. I'm starting to lose it.